Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy, what are we today? We are a Wednesday today. Happy Wednesday morning to you. We're on a Wednesday. We're on a Wednesday. So you're on a relationship Wednesday <coughs> on your four keys to a healthier, happy you. And going through the, the seven rules to a happier life. And we're on number two today. And the number two rule is ignore them. Don't listen to other people's opinions. Do what is right for you. Not only you know the path you've been on, this is true, Every, as we've grown through life, all the experiences we've had have made us exactly who we are today. And no one else has been on that same path as you. Only you've travelled it down. So only you know what you know, what you feel and what you want to do with your life. So don't listen to other people's opinions saying, oh, you should try this or you should try that. They haven't lived the life you've lived. So they don't know what experiences you've had and what you want to do with your life. And the similar path as well, don't actually compare yourself to other people. So once again, whatever someone else is at, perhaps you think, oh, they're much further ahead of me. Well, they've traveled they've totally different paths. They've had different experiences as well, which may have helped them progress further or maybe behind, depending on it. So don't compare yourself to anybody else as well. You're traveling your own path. Only you know where you are, what you've been through and where you want to go. So it's deciding, OK, it's up to me. I've got to create the life I want. It's not what other people want. It's not outside circumstances that will build my life, change my life. Only I can build the life I want. And it's deciding what I want to do. And, and actually looking inside yourself to think, okay, then, how can I, how can I sort of like get a guide if like of what I want to do? And if you've got, you've got three parts to your body. You've got the body, mind, and the soul. We know this. Uh, your body is the physical part. Your mind is the intellectual part. And your soul is the spiritual part. And if you actually think, okay, if I can sort of like look inside myself, get some guidance. If you go into the spiritual side of it, no one can pinpoint where the spiritual part is. But we know if you do something for spiritual, spiritual is more about sort of love. It's more, it's more of a pure thing. It's okay, yeah, it's something, it's always something good. If you sort of follow your spirit, it's usually something good that you want to do for yourself or for someone else. It's don't get negativity in that part of it. That's usually the insect, the mind going to the negative side. So it's actually thinking to yourself, okay, then what I want to do with my life, how I want to improve it. It's down to me is to think inside myself, think, okay, what do I what do I know is right for me? You instinctively know what is right for you. And then sometimes we don't want to have to take the action we've thought of, so we'll go and ask get opinions from someone else, so hopefully they'll talk us out of it so we don't have to do it. But when you know internally what you should be doing, it's then taking the having the courage to think, okay, I'm gonna move forward on a day to day basis to doing what it is I need to be doing to improve my life and get in the life the way I want to live it. If you're happy with things are going, that's great. But if you think, okay, I'd like things a bit a little bit better, perhaps in your relationships or whatever it is you want to do you then know what you need to do yourself is then taking an action on the thoughts you had to move it forward and just really deep down into, into your to be internal to the, into your spirit side of things and think okay then let's see what i need to do i really know how what, what i've been through where i'm going and what i need to do to move myself forward and sometimes once you've taken the action things actually open up much easier because you're actually moving yourself forward as opposed to dwelling on a problem you may have there we are that's my thought today have yourselves a good one all the best for now